Good day, people of the YouTubes, and welcome to the first update video of 2014. Given we're in mid-February, well, late February, really, I probably should have done this a little sooner, but... You know what, we wanted to get the right game, we wanted to make sure it worked, it does. There are a few graphical glitches, which I believe I might have been able to fix, but other than that, we have a working PSP emulator, and we have the game with the longest title in history available to us. So, um, let's start with the update things, and if you're actually interested in the game rather than the updates, uh, skip on a couple of minutes. Um, because, I mean, there's not, not too much to say really here, except that uh, things are going well. I'm back onto a sort of semi-regular schedule, although YouTube messed that up recently, um, where I've got a daily daily project, which will be Monday to Friday, five uploads of that. Um, currently, it's XCOM Enemy Within. That will be changing probably to Doom 2 once um, that expires, just to finish off Doom 2. We've then got our daily projects. One of these will be three uploads a week, then the other one two, and I might back and forth these as and when I've got recording and what videos I've got in reserve. And these are currently Imperium Galactica 2, which is a very decent, decent real-time strategy game, if more difficult than I remembered, because I'm hitting a point now where actually I've got, I'm at a severe risk of losing. I've got to improve my ability to play that game massively. And also got Shiny Force 2, which is a blind let's play of the third Shining game on this channel, because I've done Shining in the Darkness, we did Shining Force 1, now we shall do Shining Force 2, and I may move on to Shining Force 3 or Shining Force CD, once I find out which one of those is supposed to be next, chronologically speaking. I think it's free, but I'm not so sure where the CD one fits into this. We might play that at some stage. Um, we then have our weekend projects, which are currently um, Doom on Saturdays and Skyrim on Sundays. In both cases, this means I should have two videos uploaded each day. Hopefully, one unlocking at midday, the other unlocking at 4 p.m. my time, uh, which is currently GMT because I live in the United Kingdom. And I'll do random, silly, updated videos and special projects as and when. If I do a sort of special project day, that will replace it, but it will mostly be on Fridays when I do this. That said, this video is think is going up on a Monday, but you know. Uh, first of these is going to be I played a bit of a silly game with um, Marijin and Disaster Dylan's and Kitsune seventy seven. So yeah, I've got that silliness coming on Friday. Uh, future projects um, we have the XCOM multiplayer tournament, but I'm going to post that as sort of the final video after I put the uh, after I put the final video of XCOM within. I'll put that up as well. I did have a problem with the Within, XCOM Enemy Within, and I may have to redo the final mission, which would be depressing, because unfortunately, Bandicam has been messing up a lot for me recently. There's been various complaints that um, the video, the editing isn't syncing up properly, and it seems to be doing this only recently. So I'm going to have to look into... F I'm going to have to look into that, making sure whether it's an editing problem or it's a recording problem. But either way... I'm, I'm aware it's happened on a few videos. Um, I will try and sort that out. Uh, oh, I completely lost track of my tangent now, which is which is a shame because I always end up doing this. Uh, I wanted to get my updates out of the way before we started playing this game because, you know, I, I, some people want to watch this game. And I've eaten up two minutes, so go on another minute. We'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so Future Projects is going to be um, the XCOM Enemy Unknown slash Within multiplayer tournament. So I did a similar thing with Blood Bowl, and I'm sort of proposing the same kind of things there. But again, I've made a video for that. I'll upload that um, once Enemy Within cycles out. And as I say, I may have to repeat the last, the final mission, because it recorded um, two sets of, my, of me talking and none of the game audio. So it, it technically could be uploaded. We'll see how I feel on that one. Um other future projects that we are considering there i'm considering dungeon keeper 2 kind of seriously now i want to i want to play dungeon keeper 2 there's um another multiplayer project because i've managed to drag slime boy into a multiplayer project for the first time in nearly a year um and we might he might even try to complete um Enemy within, we uh, enemy within, uh, terror from the deep multiplayer. Either way, I've rambled on for a bit, but yeah, there, there's going to be a few interesting games coming up as well, and I am starting to look at potential projects for my 2,000 subscriber um, project, which 
yes, will I have to include Sega Bass Fishing on the Dreamcast as one of the options? I will be coming up with so many good alternatives to that. <laughs> I guarantee you I will be coming up with good alternatives to that. Anyway, what did I do to deserve this, my lord, too? I think it was released in America as, ba as um, Badman 2, and that's certainly how I might have to upload the title of it when I do this. But either way, this is a dungeon maker game basically yeah it's similar in it's not at all like dungeon keeper but we make a dungeon and minions inhabit the dungeon and we fight off waves of heroes as you can see there we're not going to bother with training although i probably should to explain this we're just going to go with the story mode for now and i should not have that there if that's been there the whole time i apologize the plot isn't too important but this is bad man and we re we play as the god of destruction because we can destroy things with our magical enchanted pickaxe. The deity of demise. Um, yes, we are kind of. If you had the first game, which I think was a digital download, so you could get the first game on the PSP. If you had that, then you could actually unlock it with the second game. I only ever owned the second game, so that's why we're doing this. First level is absolute cakewalk, comparatively. It's very, very difficult to fail the first stage, but we shall see. So there are three stages to this, and as you can see on the left, bottom left, those are the monsters that we have available for this. There is an ecology system to this game, which is quite fascinating, really, in that depending on how the creatures are treated and what happens to them, they will evolve to counter things. It'll also, they'll also evolve to take stock of the amount of food they've got available. If a creature is starving, they'll actually turn to cannibalism. Which is quite fun, because it's actually probably one of the better options. There are also magic spells, but magic creatures can usually only be um, summoned by, he by heroes first, in an old sort of way. Either way, let's make our dungeon. And then I'll sort of explain what's happening as and when. So to start with, we're going to dig out some area. And I'm going to dig out that bit. And also that bit. Now you see, anytime I dig over an area which is green, I get weird slime mold things being produced. These pick up nutrients from other green blocks, as you can see, and distribute them around. Now as you can see, that block has gone to white, which is level 2. And thus I've made a second level monster. That second level monster has now eaten a slime, distributed its, um, its nutrients into the soil, and activated... Yeah, there's now cause more of it to go there. This is a very bizarre game at times. And what I'm doing mostly is trying to... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Is trying to make use of these sorts of paths. Slimes move very automatically, so you want to try and set paths up so they will drop and gather minerals as you want them to. So doing that means they'll pick up materials from there, go back around there, and back up forth. You'll be doing lots of sort of ovals and half blocks here. And when they get enough, you can make a level 2 monster like that. There is also a level 3 type of monster, which we'll be trying occasionally. But as you can see, level 2s eat level 1 monsters for slimes. Slimes pick up nutrients and drop them. Eh. Uh... Aye, we won't give them time. So now the heroes arrive. They arrive periodically, and they give you very little time at times to deal with things. They will explore the dungeon in a rhythmic pattern according to the hero's own pattern. They are, all the heroes are automated in terms of search patterns. So if they go to an option, they'll always pick left over right unless they've explored left before, for example. And then all of the heroes have this pattern to an extent. So if you know it, you can place Badman at the place that will be found last. Shouldn't matter here, we're going to place it there. So now, the hero will now fight up through our monsters. Unfortunately, the hero is absolutely... Yeah, basic level 2 monsters were enough. And we get a skeleton. Now, between stages, we can actually use our dig power to upgrade monsters, force an evolution to the next one of that type along. As you can see here, we've got the slimes, which cost 100 dig power, 200, and so on. We're not going to spend any of it at this stage. Reason being, we only have 224 left, and it does carry over. We do get a new stack each, um, each zone, but we decided not to spend it, and we get an S rank for that, because it was just ridiculously quick. And the second hero is... That's one I rate giant. He's a level 8 hero. And he's a warrior type. So he's probably weak as a magic hell enemies, but we have no real way of dealing with that. As you can sort of see, that's got 13 soil in it. I'm trying to wait for a level 3 block to appear. 
you can actually kill off monsters in order to force a level 3 block, and I will be doing that later on. But for now, let's just keep digging areas out. Let's also go and dig down a bit. Yeah, the hip, you do not have a lot of time sometimes to deal with this. There we go. Darn it, I want a level 3 block, but I might have to sacrifice... Let's sacrifice you. As you can see, killing a level 2 monster put a lot of nutrients in the surrounding blocks. But we are kind of sorted out here. You also notice that the level 2 monsters do evolve to flying monsters, which are even stronger. There we go! And seen any of these yet, but slimes do devolve into flowers, and when the flowers die, they, nutri they give nutrients to the soil around them. Flowers, in this game, also are quite good attackers. We shall place you there, I think. Oh, other thing, we can resurrect the skeleton. As you see, as they use abilities, and we do want to... Ah, uh, they're not using save points or anything just yet. Yep, good work. But as monsters die, they give new nutrients. We want to keep that block for special purposes later. I shall explain that when it becomes relevant. Oh, there we go. Now, that's the evolution tracker. Basically, because the slimes are being hunted to death... Um, they're on the verge of evolving into a stronger being. One with defensive abilities because they keep getting killed and eaten. And they don't like being killed and eaten, they're not flourishing. So, alright, now this has basically given us the full range of... Yeah, they're, as I said, the mana blocks work in similar ways. Um, flames are essentially slimes, and they produce liliths, and later on they produce dragons. If they get enough uh, mana in them. There's other things you can do with them as well, but for now, just saving the points. Now we'll have to face off against two heroes, and we need... We actually really need some more minions coming up now. The hope being... Yeah, that's that's the full extent of the dungeon layout now. I was kind of hoping for a level 3 thing there. There we go. As you can see, they've now evolved into a new type of monster because they're being hunted. They have defensive abilities. Also, the problem is going to come soon because... We have sort of hunted the slime mosses to ex to extinction here. They will use their paral I think they paralyze. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens when they try and eat one. Yes, yeah, stun. So they stun an enemy for a short time when they get eaten. Of course, the original um, slime still remain. It's only new ones that change. I should really spawn some some magic monsters, but. Magic mushrooms do spawn on the map after a certain amount of time, I remember that. And that allows you to basically put mana blocks everywhere, as opposed to... Oh, one of them's actually gone up... That's a special one, I'm not sure how we did that, or what we did to do that, but... We have new, um... We have new ones of those coming around. Come on, I want a level 3 block. Just one level 3 block, because I want to show off... No, the heroes... Oh, there we go. Level 3 block. Now these will eat the bugs. They are the predators. They go nom, they'll lay an egg once they've done that. There is one other type of monster as well, but I'm not sure I'm going to get to show those off just yet. No, I'm not going to be able to. Okay, Fluke and Wedgie. Let's see what they've got. So the safest place is probably around the Lizardman's lair, so we're going to place that there. Now, he'll be weak to magic, you'll be weak to melee attacks, but you'll be able to cast magic. And there we go, there's some abilities being used. Let's spawn some of those. Basic plan here is to try and get some... Oh, there we go. Just what we wanted, another lizard man. They need an area that size in order to have a nest. Ah, here we go. This is a runic monster. Whenever you have a level 3 block of its own, it will summon one. They, unfortunately, were quite weak, apparently. Oh dear, this is actually not looking too good here. Alright, slimes have little food, so they're cannibalizing themselves. That's why they've gone up to that level. The darker blue ones are the cannibals. And we might lose this already. This is now Desperation Summon Everything. Magic Mushrooms. Good thing is, the lizard man's strong enough to deal with that. 
I think I killed the lizard man. Right, need blockers. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Good work, skeleton. We very nearly messed that up. We very nearly messed that up. That is the advantage of upgrading your soldiers. Triple S rank. We won't be doing that ever again. And Badman has conquered the first region. Yeah, I guarantee you, we won't be getting a triple S rank again, ever. <laughs> Still, that worked out okay for us. I mean, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed they got down to bad, man. That was quite bad. This game will get insanely difficult, and I'm not sure. I didn't, you know, me and Slimeway have tried, tried to be the last level, have yet to succeed at all. It's actually the tip of the never one monument, the Overlord Castle, his fortress. And every time he conquers the land, his fortress shall rise from the depths. So that was... What did I do to deserve this, my lord, too? Next time we're on to Area 2, where there'll be new monsters, new evolutions, and more failure, most likely. So, until then, then.